Oh, wait, no longer. Greatness has arrived. Welcome to the Trophy Room, a PlayStation podcast made by the players for the players. I am your host, Joseph, a.k.a. Mr. Bad Bit, and it is here where me and my best friend Kyle talk about the latest and greatest in all things PlayStation. Of course, you can find this podcast wherever you find your podcasts and on Bad Bit Games on YouTube. Of course, if you like this show, you could go over to Apple Podcasts, rate us five stars there. It really does help us out. We have a giveaway once we hit 100. 100 reviews on iTunes. We're giving away a PS5 game to some lucky reviewer. So go over there, make sure you rate us five stars. And if you really, really like us, like our new patrons did, you could head on over to patreon.com slash badbit, throw us a buck our way. So with all that said, with all that out of the way, the greatest co-host who is, whoever will be, Mr. Kyle Stevenson. How are you, sir? I'm so hot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing well, but like, yeah. I'm just so tired of just sweating it's, it's been 90 so degrees bad. constantly but like tomorrow hey guess what it's only t- it's 2020 it's august the new disaster means uh, we're gonna get a hurricane like tomorrow so that's gonna be yeah. fun right nothing like a tropical storm to break the heat wave you know what i'm saying it's all <laughs> oh, the way to do it yes now you might be saying to yourself uh if you're a regular viewer welcome and this isn't a thursday what's up with this new episode well weird guess what gang i know it is weird there's a state of play this Thursday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're we'll talk about it in a sec, but that means you know n- no news is going to matter at that point. You know what I'm talking about? It's just going to be yeah. our reactions to state of play. So what we decided to do is let the the news breathe because there's just been a ton of it just this past 12 hours, and so we're going to bring you a news episode today and our reactions to the 40 minute state of play on Thursday. So you can see our live reactions. We'll be streaming it. At Bad Bit Games at one p uh, one p m uh, Pacific Standard Time, and yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun. And then also, if you can't make it, don't worry. There'll be video version of it on YouTube as well, right after the event, and as well as podcast services. We'll put that right out there for all y'all to enjoy. So with that, hey, Kyle, hey Joe, real quick, yeah. what else is happening this week? Oh my what god, what are we doing this week? How can we forget? We right? got the Fall Guys, what is it? The Fall Guys, did we say championship? No, community get-together Yeah. at 8 p.m. on Thursday as well. So we're going to be busy on Thursday. Yeah, and then at some point this weekend, uh, me, you, and Mike from Kinda NYC, we're going to be doing some Avengers team-up. Yeah. And if we can have other people in there as well, like come join us and we'll be Mm -hmm. palling around as the Avengers. And trust me, a lot of people are now angry with the Avengers again. It's going to be great. (laughs) It's going to be great. With that, before we get into everything, Kyle, I want to know, because we haven't done this segment in so long, what you've been playing real fast, because there's been a ton, tons of stuff to talk about. Uh, Real fast, um, I'm still trying to get through Ghost, and I'm I'm not, that might sound like I'm having a bad time. I'm not. I'm I'm having a great time. It's just, Mm. I'm getting to the point where uh, I'm in Act Mm 2, and... It, this is my big issue with like open world games with like question marks and stuff that pop up when you clear the fog. Is I meticulously went through everything on the first part, and then I just hit the second part, and then just more keep popping up. It feels like I'm lo- I'm losing a battle that I can never overcome. Oh, but when you will, when you do, it's it's worth it. I would I'm, say I'm super excited for. It. I want to go mainline, but I also love the tales, like yes. the side mission stuff. Yes. So I'm trying to find the balance of the golden path mixed in with some tales that I'm really excited about. I would say at, at chapter three, just do the main like side stories and then come back to, to it once you're done with the game. Because you get some awesome abilities is all I can say. Sweet. Okay. Yeah. I love that game because there's just new stuff you keep on constantly getting and picking up and learning. And it's just... Mm-hmm. I can't wait to talk to you about it. On I got another... I unlocked another ranged weapon uh today Ooh, talk to me after hey. show what it is well i'll, I'll say it now oh, i don't think it's a big the blow dart oh dude i love that thing i'm, I'm very excited <laughs> to use it <laughs> it's awesome as all hell yeah um ghost fantastic i platinum that a few weeks back again we'll have our road to greatness uh for that game and how about we do a road to greatness as well about fall guys since we'll be playing Ooh, that, yeah. we'll have our little like tales of, on that. So Platinum List came back out today. Not too bad. Yeah, you think there's I can one, get it? There's one ridiculous one mm-hmm. that it, it you have to win five in a row, not just mini games, but five tournaments in a row. That's no uh, way. It's gonna be tough. I'm gonna go for it. Okay. I'm gonna try my damnedest. Everything else seems just like 
things you can get over time, but that right. one specifically is like, oh man, Oof. that's gonna be tough. Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh, for me, talking about things that are totally s- way too difficult. Uh, I've been playing Cuphead on PlayStation Four. Now, I played it when it originally came out on Xbox, but it, there's something about that Xbox controller. To me, it doesn't feel right for a platformer. So I kind of just gave up after I got to the second stage of Cuphead. Uh, luckily, I played it on Switch. I yeah. got pretty far on the Switch version. How far did you get? Uh, the, I beat all the bosses in the first area and like halfway through the second one. That's where I'm at right now as well. I'm around, like I'm, I'm picking apart what bosses I can beat faster or what areas I could get through. But man, first off, uh, thank you MDHR for sending us a review code. Very, very, uh, grateful for that. Thank you so much. And yeah, this game is so gosh dang beautiful. It is so, it's as equally beautiful as it is way too freaking frustratingly hard at times. Mm -hmm. Uh, You know, the past afternoon, I was stuck on this one run and gun level where you have pretty much what a run and gun stage is. You have just three hits. If you get three hits, you're out. And it's an obstacle course of just enemies trying to kill you. And it's all ridiculous. It's all fast paced. And, I spent all afternoon just trying to get through this one level. Right when I did, it, it's kind of like that Bloodborne effect. I'm like, ah, I feel it. This is why I like this game so much. Mm-hmm, and for mm-hmm. some reason, it's speaking to me so much more here on PlayStation than it did on Xbox. And I have no reason as to why, but all the bosses are fantastic and creative. And the candy level uh, princess lady, I hate you so much. I spent a whole morning on, on that. And but like again, yeah. every time you like you finally overcome a, a boss or, or a hard obstacle, you get the sense of like, oh, this is great. But there's never like this progression where things get easier. It's just like, nope, things get harder and you stay exactly the same. You got three lives and that's it. So yeah. to me, I don't know if I'm gonna beat this game, but it is something that I want to continuously chip at as this month goes on, as we're getting to uh marvel's avengers that i'm just so stoked for so that's yeah. what i've been playing so far kyle Sweet. and with that uh i actually think outside it, the winds have begun to churn things yeah. are happening hey, here a little behind behind the scenes here you're like hey do you want to do like a show either today or tomorrow i was like let's go for tomorrow and then i remembered oh no it's going to be Tropical Storm Haven over here. It's yeah. probably not going to work connection Yeah, it's already starting to <laughs> downpour here. I'm excited. I like oh, really? the rain. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I love a good storm. Like, that, like, it actually puts me at ease. I don't mm. know what it is about me. It's weird. But with this that. memorial is inside is so big, it's nice to know that the outside <laughs> matches the inside. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, at this point, it's 2020. What's going to start? Like, raining That's, locusts? That, they'll be like, all right, it's don't Wednesday. Don't bring that into, into the world. Don't bring that energy out. I don't want locusts coming to the We already got killer hornets or killer bees or whatever. I just Murder hornets. There you go. Not Kyle. my America. Not my America. <laughs> Not my America. <laughs> Kyle. Uh, before we square up the news, because there's so much to talk about, we're going to be talking about Spider-Man and the Avengers exclusive controversy, state of play news, DualShock 4 controversy, and if EA is bu- buying WB, we shall riot. Before we get into all that, I want to thank our amazing patrons over at patreon.com slash badbit. And what we say every week, if we got you through a long ride home, a tough day at work, or got you through this whole quarantine mess, uh, please, please consider throwing a buck our way. It definitely helps us. Uh, gets this awesome mic that I'm talking into. It helps, again, we're looking for a webcam right now as we speak. Just because of your generosity, you guys help the show get better. Thank you all so very much. And with that, I messed up for the entire month of July, shouting out our gold patron uh, producer. I want to get him out here right off the bat. Ryan Grant, I apologize to you, sir. Oh, Ryan, we're sorry, buddy. I am so that That is a big overlap on my dumb brain. And there's no excuse. I'm just a big dumb idiot. But please get back to me because if you're a gold member, you get a dope-ass t-shirt. And if dope-ass t-shirts... They're on their way. With that, I'd like to thank our new patrons. Again, Ryan Grant, thank you so much. Uh, uh, Fedger, our bronze member, and Randy Scott Heisen, our new silver members. Thank you all so much for becoming patrons of the Bad Bit uh, Patreon. Thank you all so much. Yeah. And like always, thank our gold producers, Gavin Gottfried, Griffin West, Robbie Bobby Miller himself, and our silver plus members, Marcus O'Neill, Ray Martinez, JB the Purple Monkey, and Tim Ulf, thank you all so much for making us better and helping us grow. With that, Kyle, all that stuff out of the way, it's time to square up the news. 
First one comes from the PlayStation blog, and it says the state of play returns this Thursday, August 6th. It's been a while, but still, every, re, pause. A real, every time I read that phrase, I think of the Stained song, It's Been yeah, a While. It's been a while. Just it's do it in your best not, Stained voice. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> Anyways, it's been a while, but State of Play returns this Thursday with a focus on third-party published games coming to PS4 and PSVR. We'll have a few PS5 game updates on third-party and indie titles you last saw in June's PS5 showcase. The episode is weighing in at 40-plus minutes. We've got a great lineup in store featuring plenty of new gameplay footage and other game updates. Can't wait to hear what you think. And just to be super clear, there will be no PlayStation Studios updates in Thursday's episode. There won't be any updates around hardware, business, pre-orders, or dates either. On Mm. Thursday, our focus is squarely on showcasing some cool upcoming games coming to the broader PlayStation ecosystem. Should be fun! The new State of Play episode airs Thursday, August 6th at 1pm Pacific Time, 4pm Eastern Time, and 9pm BST. And you can watch it live right here on Bad Bit Games YouTube. Hey, man. Thank you guys over at the PlayStation blog for giving right? us a shout out. crazy. It's crazy how those things work. We're and I didn't put that in there. I know, right? Good goodness. <laughs> it's only a matter of time till she accepts my invites and stops doing that mass ignore list on, on Gmail. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, Sin Vendetta writes in. And they ask, with Sony announcing the state of play this Thursday, where they will do a quick check-in on third-party and indie games, what are both of your top five games that was a part of the June event that you see, uh, that you'd like to see more of at Thursday's state of play? So I won't give you five, because I, f- I feel like then we'll just talk about all the games. Everything it's be over there, that. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so what are games that we saw this June event that you'd like to see updates on in... in possibly maybe even some release dates who knows i want to i want to know everything that's coming out this holiday Mm. so i want to see more death loop i want to see more bug snacks i want to see more kina Mm -hmm. uh, or kenna i apologize if i'm getting that one wrong um those are the main three that i want to see more of especially because they're touted as we're going to be playing it this year later this year on ps5 so like i want to see those first and foremost Yeah, uh, to me, the one that I want to see the most is definitely kind of, I'm really amped for that game and, and Godfall as well. I want to see more of it, Mm -hmm. but I think what the, the, the interesting tidbit that you said is Deathloop Mm because Bethesda now has a big presence at the Sony stage or virtual one. I want to see what that game uh, looks like, what that game's going to play more like, uh, and to get actual gameplay. I would love to see that now. With that said, knowing that there's no first party studios as well, I would love to see another check in of indie games. Like, I'm not yeah. over the moon on Bug Snacks. Everybody else is. Get me hyped for Bug Snacks. Okay. Let me get to sing along with the dumb song I don't understand. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, yeah, m- highlight more indies. And I think that's what we're going to see here as well. Uh, but- Little Devil Inside as well. That Wait. was another one Ooh. I'm super excited about. That yeah. was the one where the, the, uh, the old man and the and the kid in the night, like going out on quests and stuff. And okay, there was that poop joke in the in the June showcase <laughs> one from this game. Uh, that right, one that's the only one that. Too. Yep, that's that's the only poop joke that's actually gotten a chuckle out of me. <laughs> uh, here's the thing: with this showcase, I've seen a lot of people go. If we're not going to have big updates for the PlayStation Five, like it's cool. Like again, I want to see more Death Loop. That's a third party game. Yeah, I would love to see what Project Athia actually is, Final Fantasy mm-hmm. Sixteen. But like, I would love <laughs> to see what those games actually are and how they actually run. But PlayStation's like, keep your expectations level. Like we're not giving you. They said we're not talking about price. We're not talking about pre orders. We're not talking about PS Five. We're just giving you more PS Four and PS VR games. Where where does that stick with you, Kyle? Because I've seen a lot of people on Twitter go, "Well, why do this? If we're why keep doing this song and dance? You're not going to tell us. I need to save up money somehow for this thing. Tell us the gosh dang price already." Yeah, you're going to hear this a lot out of me this episode. Uh, mm. But this is like a double edged sword. Yeah, I, I I saw this when I woke up this morning. It's like, oh, cool, stay to play. I can't wait to to you know see all these cool new looks at these games that I'm excited to play later this year and, and beyond. But then when I read the part, like no hardware, no business, no pre-orders, no dates, it just brings me back to like, what are we doing? 
Like, yeah. why, are we, why is it so fascinating that Sony and Microsoft are just playing chicken with each other? And like, mm-hmm. no, you move. No, you move. It's like kids who say, meet me outside at recess, and then just stand there chest to chest and don't throw a fist. Right. Like, it, it's... Do I've come here something. to see toddlers fight, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> I want you to take a stand. The The lack that there is no date, right. there's no price, or when pre-orders are available, shows me that neither are super confident it's coming out this year. And that makes me worried. That it's not coming out this year? I mean, we're... Start of August. Like, it, there's... Less to 2020 than there is more of it at this stage of the year. So, I, like, they need to do something soon, right? I November think that, is three months away. I think they're not confident in the price of these things more so than anything. I, like, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, prepare for something. Like, Microsoft's being very aggressive. Sony's going to be willing to undercut. And I'm like, I don't think they know what the prices of these things are. Mm-hmm. I think they're both trying to wait each other out because they're both scared each other's going to undercut. Right, like the 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 chances of of a P- PlayStation Five being, and, and I'm I'm prepared to be wrong. I want to be wrong, but to say that this console is going to be three ninety nine is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. It, it, like I'm thinking it is a five hundred dollar console at launch, mm-hmm. no doubt. And for me, ju- I'm just like just announce it then. Just uh, hit me, hit me, hit me in the stomach now, so I can get. <laughs> Get on with my day, and I could purchase it later, like, like an abusive yeah. spouse. So, I, so, like for me, it's just well, that was a I could have chosen a way dark. better analogy. <laughs> yeah, I picked something right out of my childhood. I was like, here, guys, let me let you know a little bit about me. But like, like yeah, just just hit me in the gut so I could walk over and continue to pay you money because mm-hmm. at this point, yeah, like Microsoft, just show it, like. You know, we're going to talk about the controller shenanigans in a minute. Like Xbox being like, well, every controller will work on your Xbox. I'm like, shut up. Just tell me the price. I don't care yeah. anymore. Mm-hmm. I don't care how many things are compatible. Like, how about if, if you were so confident with the product, how about you actually show us the price tag of this? Con- and and, and, yep. and I, I think it goes back to what you say. I think none of them are confident in the price. And does yeah. that does that worry you that they're not confident in the price? Like, like, where's where does your patience run out? Is it at the end of the month? I I'll be completely honest. My patience is is running out. Yeah, it it is because my economic future is so in a state of dangerous flux mm-hmm. that I I want to be able to know. Like, I view this as as a job, something that we don't get paid for. And if we're gonna have a PlayStation show, and a brand new PlayStation console is coming out. We want to be able to have that and be able to talk to everybody and, and listen to our experiences with it. So yeah. the fact that I don't know how much I could have to save up towards or make a pile of, of things to trade into a GameStop to be able to afford it, like I need to, I need to know. Yeah, I, th- I, I think to me, I'm like of two minds because one part I'm like, let's just just tell me already. But the other part yeah. is just like. Dude, we've known this since May, right? Je- mm-hmm. Jeffrey Grubberson over there at, at, at VG247 told us there's going to be a May event with PS4 and PS5 games. So, like, why do we act surprised? Why are we shocked about this? We knew this was coming. And uh, to me, it kind of gives me the same thing with the Nintendo reveal, but Sony's actually giving you expectations. Or mm-hmm. even even with the Xbox gameplay reveal back in uh, May, where they're just like, hey, gang, listen, we still have partnerships with 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 developers and publishers that we have to carry on through till the end of the year we need an event for them we still don't know what, what call when call of duty is coming out like yeah. we, we got yeah. an idea from doritos themselves mm-hmm. but not from apparently Activision. it's in the cold war i assume we'll see it in this like- it's in a, it's in a it's at least in a cool ranch a bag like god intended <laughs> but like <laughs> ray i love you but like you know to me it's just like there's still partnerships that they need to fulfill there's still business arrangements they need to wipe their hands with and still indies you need to showcase like with Mm -hmm. psvr so yeah they do need an event but i do think at the same exact time i understand where people are coming from where i feel like if this was an event after what we saw with playstation like like they did their big reveal and everything and the price tag i don't think we would have cared as much but since yeah. we still there's still this this cloud in the air, this fog that we don't know what's going to happen. That's why people, I think, are so angry at the moment. Yeah, I also think people are just angry because we're all stuck inside. <laughs> I really—it's it, a that. little bit of that, and like, 
everyone is just especially like in in the video game community like gamers we just want a little bit of good news yeah we just want just a little bit to offset all the shitty things that are going on outside like just just a date that i can circle on my calendar like this is it yeah. This is this is the next generation, the thing I'll be playing for the next seven, eight, t- nine years. Like, Give us something to look forward to. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, show us Bloodborne 2, just the little things. Kyle. How many what, days? Uh, it's been like 1,000. We haven't crossed 2,000 yet? No, we've definitely hit 2,000. You know what? Ask me that in five minutes. You got it. After you read this story. Uh, Matt TM Kim for over at IGN writes, Spider-Man is coming to Marvel's Avengers as a PlayStation exclusive. 1,959 days since the launch of the original Bloodborne. We're getting, we're getting close. We're getting real close. All I had to do is type in how, and Google already knew. <laughs> That's how you start your mornings. Google, how many days? <laughs> I just get up and Alexa knows. It's 1,050. <laughs> Continues Good morning, on. Joe. Bloodborne. Uh, PlayStation has confirmed that Spider-Man will be coming to Marvel's Avengers as a free PlayStation exclusive. Spider-Man will be released post-launch, so he won't be available when Marvel's Avengers is released on September 4th. In a new PlayStation blog post, Marvel's Avengers confirmed that Spider-Man will be added to the playable roster in early 2021 at no additional cost to anyone who owns the base game. As previously leaked, Spider-Man will be exclusive to PlayStation owners. I'm figuring out how to what's a way to tackle this. And cause oh, we yeah. had three excellent questions. Mm-hmm. So let's first start with the initial reaction. Let's take it step by step. Sure. Asa the five star man writes in just like you can too over at PS Trophy Room on Twitter or over at the Casa de Bad Bit Discord server where we ask for your questions. Everybody gives us a whole bunch. It's always amazing. Makes our lives easier. Makes the show even better. With that, Asa writes in, the initial reaction to Spider-Man being a console exclusive to Sony seems to be mostly negative. Do you think once they show actual gameplay, the reaction the reaction will worsen? Is there any chance Crystal Dynamics Spider-Man feels nearly as good to play as Insomniacs. So we learned that this is Insomniac Spider-Man in this game, at least the character of. How did you take the initial reaction? What was your initial reaction to the news, Kyle? Uh, on this is gonna you're gonna feel flattered. My initial thought was you, because uh, you were. You were not as high on Avengers as I was from the beginning. Like, this last showing has gotten you more hyped, and that's why we're playing the beta this weekend. Um, But the one character I I asked you, like, hey, what character do you think the secret one would be? And you're like, Spider-Man. I want to play as Spider-Man. So I was like, yes. Awesome for Joe. Obviously awesome for me. I also love Spider-Man. I think it's great. I was very excited. Yeah. And then I saw the tweets. (laughs) And it... Got overwhelming, and every single time I I looked at a new one, I was like, man, I feel like there's a lot of hypocrisy going on. How so? I just feel like no one, and again, like, we've grown, right? There's, everyone's grown up and a little bit more adult, but sure. like, I don't remember this fervor when Rise of the Tomb Raider had a year-long exclusivity oh, deal with there. Xbox. Oh, it was that. I remember I, that. I'm, I'm sure, yeah, but like... I just feel like it, it's cool to pile on PlayStation for making a smart business move to be like, hey, here's a third party game that you can play everywhere. But you know what we have? Oh, we have Spider-Man. And so I think, come play to us. Yeah. Play with us to get this beloved character that already has a long history with us here on PlayStation. Is it long? I mean, a long and like, so you- maybe long's the, the wrong word, but recent okay. huge success and like okay. fervor behind it. My initial reaction is, guys, I was right. What was it? Two, three weeks ago, previous Trophy Room episode, I said it. Why is Miles Morales alone in New York, supposedly, Mm. right? Mm -hmm. Because Spider-Man has shit to do with the Avengers, and he leaves them in New York to safeguard it, and something crazy happens where Miles has has to figure this out on his own. Bam. That gives us more answers to Miles Morales than we have of Avengers. And with that, automatically gets me more excited for Miles Morales than Avengers. With that said, my initial reaction is, cool. Yeah. Cool. Good. Like, you know, if if we're using the same Spider-Man and it's been, guys, 
ever since Spider-Man, the game, spoiler alert, Easter egg, there's a, an Avengers Tower being built in San Francisco where A-Day happens. We knew this for years. Mm-hmm. And even at the end, the splash screen at the end of the first trailer, you had the 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 um, exclusive content coming to PlayStation thing. Yeah. And we all just uh, assumed it was Spider-Man. We were all kind of just fine with it. Absolutely. Yeah. And so like to see the reaction as a Sony fan, like, uh, trust me, I get it. If you're Xbox, you're kind of bummed oh, out. Yeah. But- I don't. I, I also want to say that as well. Like, I absolutely understand you feeling bummed out that you cannot play as Spider-Man on yeah. PC or xbox yeah i get it if i were in your shoes and that was your only console i trust me i would be angry as well but at the same exact time it's like yeah this is a business ass deal Mm -hmm. and i think it speaks to the problem of what the what marvel's trying to do is mcuify some of their properties and when you take a look at the art style of avengers it matches spider-man's one-to-one so like we all knew this was coming it's the fact that you know look Spider-Man movies are Sony pictures. They fit in the MCU. They follow similar story arcs, but you can remove them and take them out. And the MCU is mostly unaffected, right? But at the same exact time, it's not a one, a one, one to one scenario because in America, the two big ba- brands are Regal and AMC. If mm-hmm. Sony was just like, Hey, we have an exclusive deal. You can only watch the latest Spider-Man at AMC theaters. I totally get you that experience is kind of nullified but at the same exact stroke we've seen this with other games like destiny where they're lockout content like strikes like characters behind that paywall and people swim over them yeah no I, i've i've brought it up before here a long time ago yeah. it wasn't recent but like working at gamestop seeing call of duty multiplayer maps a full six months to a year before playstation for 360 yeah. Like that was huge. And that was a bummer for Call of Duty fans on PlayStation. So it just the swing is now in PlayStation side where we're getting a lot of cool things that other like Xbox is not getting. Yeah. And I'm sure what this next generation it might come back more to the middle. But like I also I'm sorry, this has been building up all day. Go but for like it. there's I, I think too like oh man, Xbox box ugh, Xbox bought Double Fine. After Second Odds 2 I won't be able to play any Double Fine game on my PlayStation. Yeah. They're all going to focus on Xbox and Game Pass and PC. Like, that sucks for me. But it's a business move and a smart one for Microsoft. Same thing with, uh, with uh, oh my god, Ninja Theory. Ninja Theory, like, that's, Obsidian, yeah. They, they bought amazing studios that I will no longer be able to play their games on my PlayStation platform. Those are full-on games. This right. is a character Right. That who knows how much story stuff will actually be in it. Well, here's the thing. Donnie from PSVG, yeah. he's here to challenge you. He says, okay. I understand that people love exclusives. It makes them feel rewarded for choosing the brand slash product. But do you feel bad for anyone playing on Xbox or even PC uh, that will miss out on Spider-Man? I mean, yes. they already are missing out on a great Spider-Man games as it is. I understand Sony owns the film rights. Spider-Man does actually appear in other games and consoles, uh, though. Yeah, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 on the Switch, the Lego games, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Spider-Man's been on other games. Mm-hmm. Why does this feel all right? Like, you talk about long history with PlayStation, but it's not too long. It was like two years yeah. ago and change, right? Yeah. So, like, what does this, why does this Spider-Man get special treatment? If so, should, like, Xbox get Black Panther? Because that'd be dope. Like, would you be, be okay awesome. with that? I'd be okay with that. Like, I mean, so what was Soul Calibur two? Yeah, had a had a different special guest character for every system. Like GameCube had Zelda. Uh, excuse me. Whoa, back up. See, not a Nintendo <laughs> boy over here. GameCube had Link. Yeah. Uh, Xbox had uh, Yoda. Uh, oh no, they had Yoda. Oh, and right, then Yoda. Um, PlayStation, I think, had Hiachi from Tekken. Okay. Like, I think, I think yeah. we lost out on that deal. Yeah, but, we like, did. It's, it has happened. We before. could have fucking Yoda, you know? <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Uh, to Donnie's point, like, absolutely I feel bad. Especially if Spider-Man is your character. Yeah. And But when you talk about, like, it's showing up on other games for... Spider-Man showing up in, like, Ultimate Alliance 3, Lego games, whatever. That's not PlayStation Spider-Man. Right. Those are different versions of Spider-Man. Right. So the fact that this one that's going to be in Avengers is the Spider-Man... The Peter Parker that we know and love for PlayStation owners, 
that makes sense why it's not anywhere else. And yeah. will it be weird when you when you try to if there was crossplay and and you're playing with someone that is Spider Man and you can't like I I'm sure that's probably why crossplay is not going to happen with Avengers, right? At least for the no, I think it's not happening in the Avengers because both Xbox and PlayStation probably want people to migrate over to their consoles first mm-hmm. in a year from now, where then like it's not as if the game's not as hot, then you know they'll allow cross play for sure. But like That's fair. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. me, I think you make an excellent point, and it's just the thing that doesn't sit well is that this isn't Spider Man, you know, Spider Man with an asterisk. Right, mm-hmm. like there's dozens of different Spider uh, Spider Man and Spider Man stories. You have the amazing, you have the spectacular, right? You have the you have the Sam Raimi, you have the Tom Holland. They're different entities, and they're different, and they all inspire one another. Where White Spider was purely created for the PlayStation game, the comic that surrounds it is purely inspired by the PlayStation game. That's why it's a thing. That's why it's out. That's why it has its own identity. They call it white spider because of the white emblem on his chest. So yes, technically he is a Sony exclusive character in terms of there hasn't been a Spider-Man like him. Now with that said, and I think it goes on to Marcus O'Neill's question because there's so much heat around this question. Marcus O'Neill adds, I'm not trying to say or I, I'm not saying that this is the right move for Sony, but I do sympathize with them. This is another side to the same coin. Uh, their job is to get you to buy their platform. And in order to do so, they need to strike a deal to delegate balance between differentiation themselves from their competitors while not appearing to be consumer unfriendly. In your opinions, what is the right balance in terms of exclusivity? Exclusive games only, no exclusive uh, exclusivity, etc. That's a good question. Where look, I don't think the right move for me was to say Spider-Man uh, the White Spider Spider-Man is only on PlayStation. Maybe it's like the White Spider-Man suit is only on PlayStation. Mm. I think that mm. would would have been the better balance for Absolutely. this. And then you'd still get people on there. But I also don't think this is a huge deal because when you take a look at third-party games, when you chop it up, and I'm just going to get real and blunt with you guys, it's like a two-thirds split. Sony usually gets two-thirds of the audience anyway. And I think what Mark is trying to say is they're trying to get the most share and the most bang for their bucks so that when people are there and they're playing the game, they're invested, and then they go out there maybe upgrade to a PS5 or thinking about upgrading to a PS5. They're like, Mm -hmm. well, I got this game I'm really loving. There's Miles Morales. I'm excited for him. Spider-Man's also going to be in in this game that I love. Okay, hell, I'll go with a PlayStation 5. It's the most brutal way to do it. It's the same thing that they've done with Destiny. It's the same thing what Xbox did with Tomb Raider. Same thing what Xbox did with, you know, Call of Duty's prior. It's ugly. It's not the the, the, the best thing, but it is... It's not pretty. It is business. And to me, I kind of feel like a white person in America right now, guys. I, I, Kyle, let me tell you something. It feels good to be you, you know? <laughs> I'm looking around going, yeah, things are bad, but I'm white. And so, like, to me, it's just like I'm not affected because I'm a PlayStation owner. I'm going to be buying this this yeah. game regardless. Now I just know what platform to be on. And it's not a crazy thought as well. I'm sorry I'm hogging all the spotlight here. No, you're good. That, like, casual audiences, like, again, I go up to my brother. I'm like, hey. Just so you know, because he, he's he's not sold on Xbox right now, very much landing on PlayStation. I'm just like, Marvel Avengers, going to have Spider-Man. He's just like, sweet. That's awesome. I'm buying PlayStation. Like, that that was the thing that sold him. Yeah. Halo wasn't able to. It was Spider-Man. So such a That is such a genius move for Sony to, to get that. Yeah. And, and like it, it makes so much business sense. Uh, I do want to cut in real quick. Go for it. Yeah. Just real quick. Um, I was looking up just because I want to make double sure that this is the Spider-Man that we know from PS4. Okay. And from the blog post, this is interesting to me. And uh, this is why, like, maybe it's the gears are switching a little bit. It says... Um, today is one such moment for me because I get to be the first to announce that our own Crystal Dynamics take on Spider-Man is teaming up. So maybe it's not the same Spider-Man we know. Because I was sitting here, I was like, I want to double check. Because I could hear you listening to this episode and yelling at us in your car or your house. Yeah. Type of getting your comments and your tweets ready. <laughs> yeah, so like, according, a <laughs> according to the, the blog post, 
it's it ambiguous. very well could be a brand new Spider-Man, um, which again would be it might skew my my thoughts on it a little bit more to like wow that's really shitty. Right. But then again, the Spider-Man brand is tied to PlayStation, so it still makes sense to me as why Sony has it. I'm still saying it's it's the White Spider just because the art stri- art art styles are so strikingly on point mm-hmm. with one another. Also, the icon here is I think the same icon. I know it's the circle of Spider-Man is is pretty mm-hmm, universal, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. it's the same one we see in game. And that's why yeah, I just yeah. immediately, uh, my biggest concern to me, and, and look, if it is the white spider Spider-Man, okay, cool, I'm fine with it. If it's just like Spider-Man not voiced by Yuri, I'm fine, I, I now have a problem with it, that's all fucked up. But at the same exact time, my biggest concern with this is, I think it didn't make him feel like insomniac spider-man like you know are are they are they getting the creative director uh, of spider-man in there going okay how did you guys like crack this nut like let us know you know yeah going back to to ace's thing uh part of his question is there any chance it feels anything close to insomniac spidey yeah i would be shocked if it even comes close oh really i i I real i i would be shocked if it would feel as fluid as insomniac spidey is just by the way Thor looked and the way that the moves kind of look like they slow down right before impact to mm. like give the, the 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 effect of hitting an opponent so i would be i would be absolutely shocked if it's as smooth and and flawless as the Spidey PS4 game was and i think that's um, the biggest challenge that they're going to have to do is how yeah. are they going to how are they going to strike that chord to make it feel like Spider-Man and Insomniac and i feel like mm-hmm. Thor feels like a more generic ish uh, Kratos and sure. Iron Man feels like when you're flying an Anthem, uh, which is the only thing good about that game. But like, I, I feel like they can get most of the things down. If it feels like, like diet Spider-Man, I'm fine. If it's, if it tastes like, you know, Spider-Man zero uh, or, or diet Pepsi Spider-Man, I, yeah. I'm not okay with that. Right. So to well, me, well- We'll be able to talk about it next next week on the episode because we'll have played the beta and we'll have a feel for how the characters that we are, have access to yeah. um, feel like specifically uh, Black Widow. Like I feel like she would be the closest out of the four that we get to play in the beta. True. That would be close to Spidey. Um, so yeah, like I'm hoping for the best. I once again will state I'm I feel for you Xbox owners. I get it. You're mad. I understand that. But I just can't, like, it just makes too much sense for Sony to have it. Yeah, I mean, it's smart again, and it just comes a pure place of privilege of just, like, how much I actually care about this, I don't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, because I'm sure. not affected. If I was, if yeah. this was the achievement hall, I'd be like, oh, this is the worst Sony. But, like, I'm, I'm benefiting. I don't it, care. It, if anything, I think this I know that's awful to say, question. but, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I get it. Yeah. I understand where you're coming from. Um to, if anything, this brings up like Crystal Dynamics does some really shady third per- third party deals going on because they were Rise of the Tomb Raider. They're the ones that had it a year, gave it a year to Xbox. Yeah. Now they have this like they're Call masters spade at spade. pulling some some crazy crazy stuff going on. And real talk, I even see Xbox people of like mad at Phil Spencer. They're like, dude, mm. why aren't you making deals like this? Like it's cool that we're getting like you know. I don't know, a bunch of stuff from you guys, but like, we want this. We want to spawn yeah. Xbox exclusive. We want like a Squirrel Girl expansion that's exclusive to us. Like, we want these things. Go out there and, and make these things happen. Mm-hmm. Make, like, shake those hands. And I just kind of also think, and this end of a uh, uh, long winded rant is PlayStation knows how to shake a hand. And I think that's what we're seeing is PlayStation knowing how to wheel and deal mm-hmm. on a level that. I mean, the, the competition just can't, you know? And yeah, that's the I only mean, fanboy thing yeah. you're going to hear from me tonight. I don't know. <laughs> look at look at how big the ripple of this, like, this uh, this move from PlayStation is making over a character in a game. Yeah. Whereas, like, you know, Microsoft's big things are buying full-out studios. Yeah. Like, full with hundreds of people and brand new get full experiences. And this is just a character. And the amount of fervor over that is huge. I get it. Spider-Man's a huge, iconic yeah. pop culture icon. But, like, 
it's amazing how smart they are when it comes to these kind of like smaller deals that will help sustain yeah. growth on PlayStation. Like it's you know I'm tired of getting angry about Spider Man, Kyle. Yeah. I want to oh, get angry quick. about controllers. Yeah, yeah, I'll, we'll get angry at controllers. I really hope that they are going the old Soul Calibur way, and and every system has their own. Uh-huh. I so badly want Wolverine to be like the Xbox. Everybody's character. saying that because he's an X-Men. the X Men. Yeah. Like it just it just connect the dots, man. Yeah. Like it just makes sense. Also, Xbox fans, keep keep that energy. I swear to God, just keep the energy. Anyway, <laughs> let's get let's get angry now. <laughs> I've just a been Once a petty again, little boy. <laughs> Oh, man. Once again, from the blog. PlayStation 5, answering your questions on compatible PS4 peripherals and accessories. In our June Future of Gaming digital event, we announced an array of PlayStation 5 peripherals and accessories that will be launching... Oh, excuse me. We'll be launching this holiday season. But we know that many of you were also wondering if and how existing PlayStation 4 peripherals are compatible with the next-gen system. Which existing peripherals accessories will work on PS5? Specialty peripherals, such as officially licensed racing wheels, arcade sticks, and flight sticks, will work with PS5 games and supported PS4 games. The platinum and gold wireless headsets, as well as third-party headsets that connect via USB port or audio jack, will work on PS5. The headset companion app is not compatible with PS5. The DualShock 4 wireless controller and PlayStation officially licensed third-party gamepad controllers will work with supported PS4 games. Both the PS4 Move motion controllers and the PlayStation VR Aim controller will work with supported PSVR games on PS5. Please note, not all PlayStation officially licensed or third-party peripherals slash accessories may work on PS5. We recommend checking with the manufacturer to confirm whether a product will work on PS5 and specific titles. Will the DualShock 4 work with PS5 games? No. We believe that PS5 games should take advantage of the new capabilities and features we're bringing to the platform including the features of DualSense wireless controller. Is the PlayStation camera for PS4 compatible with PS5? Yes. PlayStation camera will work with PS5 for playing supported PSVR games. It will require a PlayStation camera adapter that will be provided at no additional cost to PSVR users. More details on how to get the adapter will be announced at a later date. And that's it. We'll continue to provide updates on PlayStation 5 down the road, so make sure to check back soon. I'm so angry. <laughs> this is this is. I woke up to the 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 Spider Man news and then yeah. this back to back, and I got out of bed so angry, <laughs> like just at the world, not this news because this whatever. But like it's it's the fever, the rage <sighs> that turns Twitter users cruel. <laughs> <laughs> Famous Seamus, the most famous Seamus I've ever met in my entire life. I'll take that to the grave, writes in. What do you think about the PlayStation 4 controllers not being compatible with PS5? Honestly, makes sense to me. PS3 yeah. controllers don't work with PS4. PS2 controllers don't work with PS3, etc., etc., etc. I added those etc. I editorialized. <laughs> Kyle, how upset from a scale of fuck you, Sony, to... I'm never buying another PlayStation product. I'm burning my PlayStation 4 right now. How those, mad are you? Those, those are the two ends? Yeah. Um, or in the middle, I'm going to call your manager. Actually, I'm calling your manager <laughs> right now. I, I'm I'm at the level where I'm at the front of the store screaming, how dare they make me wear a mask <laughs> kind of level of anger. So, Kyle, you're about a Karen level of upset about this whole Discord oh situation. Yeah. Not Discord I, situation. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk, gang. Remember when I said there was a thunderstorm? Yeah, we had to hard edit. This is going to be a totally fine transition. You wouldn't have even noticed. But you know what? Slip of the tongue. <laughs> what can I do? What can I say? What are your Carrot thoughts? levels now? of anger. Uh, uh, about DualShock 4 is not being able to work on a PlayStation 5 or whatever. Uh, I'm fine. It's, yeah? This is not the end of the world to me. It's... I understand that the the internet might tell you differently, but like it's not that big of a deal. Every right. new system usually comes with a brand new set of controllers. But Kyle, like, especially with everything that's going into the Dual Sense, there's no way the DualShock Four would be able to replicate. But that. Kyle, I don't want to hear it because Xbox what? players have it. X- Xbox, you could you could put in your Xbox you know One what? from day one, and you know it works, what, Joe? Kyle. Yes. Say hello to YouTube, because I'm recording you. How dare you get in my face? How dare you? 
Oh my goodness. Oh my God. He's really wanting to talk to my manager right now. He won't have this guys. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> who would be my manager? My manager. Would it be my mom? <laughs> yeah, get my mom. Be your mom. Yeah. What did my boy do? What did my boy do to you? Um, yeah. I, okay. Stopping to play like devil's advocate for a sec. I think this is the most, one of the most ridiculous things to get upset yeah. about. Like, mm-hmm. I expect, like, I'm not going to play my DualShock 4 controller once I have my DualSense. If anything, I'm more shocked that they're going to have DualShock 4 support for the PS4 games. At all. Yeah. Like, it's like to me, I'm just like, okay, at this point, like, we're used to when we get new technology, we go or new controllers or new consoles, whatever. We use a new controller. This is not, yeah. like, difficult. Xbox, guess what? Over there, it's paradise. They perfected that weird controller. They made it comfortable as all hell. They don't need to do any configuring right Mm -hmm, playstation mm -hmm. wants to do something different something radical with their controllers fine like i don't like i really don't get the outrage it's it's so i again i think we're at this point kyle we just want to be upset we don't know what what but we just want to be upset at this point because we're all stuck in our houses and we we need something to yell at you know and 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 i think before we get into to billy's question here Mm -hmm. i think I, this is the tweet I tweeted when I saw this because it wasn't just the PlayStation news. That Xbox had to say like, "Oh, every single controller we have will work on Series X moving forward." Yeah. And I tweeted, "Quote: I'm quoting myself here. I wouldn't mind this. I can do better than you pissing match between PlayStation and Xbox if we knew when they were coming out this year and the price. Preach. Until then, shut up and tell us when we will be able to get our hands on them. Then you can go back at this pettiness." Yeah, go back, go back at it. Like this makes no sense to me. Like before, in the last uh, new console PS4, the, like the game sharing video. Yeah, like that was this level of pettiness. But even then, we knew the date and the price, so it warranted that kind of like braggadocious attitude. Yeah, this means nothing because we don't know when it's coming out. Still, we don't, and like that goes back to the game of chicken that they're playing. Yeah, it, it ch- de- definitely goes back to that. So like. To me, I'm like, there's no outrage. The fact that I can still use my PSVR headset, I can still yeah. use my move controllers. Like Famous Shame has pointed out, we've used the same move controllers for three right? generations. Cool. Move that over. Transition the, so that the uh, PSVR owners don't feel abandoned on the platform. They can continuously grow here. Who, who cares? The fact that I don't have to buy the new camera for the VR. Like, yeah. I can still use my old one. Like, come on, guys. That's awesome. Like, things that actually matter. That's awesome. Having a new piece of uh, a controller speaks to the new experience you're about to have. I want yeah. a new controller. Haptic you know? feedback? Like, that's and huge. The thing that pisses me off here the most, Kyle, is that, like, for years, we've been talking about how, how awful the DualShock battery is, right? How we've gone yeah. through so many of them because they're cheaply made. This, that, and the other thing. But then it gets to the point of, like, hey, we got this new controller, uh, new experience, haptic feedback, yada, yada, yada. Can't use your DualShock on, or 4 on this. Or you can't just on PS4 games. And then we're just like, get the pitchforks. I fucking love this controller and the shitty battery life. Get the torches out. Like, <laughs> yeah. pick, pick, pick the outrage, people. To me, this mm-hmm. is not... It's an odd starter, like, for me getting upset. I don't feel anything. Maybe I should. I don't know. Someone in the comments yeah. let me know. And in the added news, like, I think, I don't know if it was in this blog post or not, but, like, the dual sense is also going to be, like, four hours longer than the yeah. DualShock 4. Good. So, like, solid eight hours, eight, nine hours could be better, I guess. But that's awesome no, for like, us living with the DualShock 4 battery yeah. for years now. Well, theoretically, <laughs> the DualShock lasts six hours. So, you're getting ten hours of battery sure. with this. So yeah, yeah theoretically, th- like theoretically, out of the box, yes. Uh, Xbox has better battery life, but yeah. USB C charges so fast. I keep saying this, like I'll charge this phone in less than fifteen minutes. It's at half. So like mm-hmm. to me, I'm just like, and if it's a controller, it doesn't have the huge processor and chip to deal with. It's gonna be lightning's fast. Who cares? So yeah. to me, like you're gonna get a better battery. You know, we're gonna have some cool features. I'm really excited for the haptic feedback. Like that's something I want to see. First parties, I get it. Like the big thing is like third party isn't gonna take advantage of it. But guess what? If 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 I'm getting an experience out of Ghost of Tsushima 2 with this thing, that's awesome. Like there's not a lot of games out there that have the best uh, or on the level of sound design as as Sony does. I could say that mm-hmm. as, as as a fanboy. But like 
they like Sony knows how to immerse me in their worlds. And if this is a thing, you know, next to sound that they're going to immerse me with, go for it. I take, take risks, yeah. take chances. This is awesome. Um, you know, it's more than just putting a share button on your controller and calling it a day. So to me, cool. I'm excited to have this thing in my hands, but Billy, the door opens up with, Hey, get it. Get it. <laughs> he opened the door. I get it. Uh, with new features in the dual sense, how is it, uh, a shock to anyone that the dual or the sorry the dual shock 4 controller won't work with ps5 games however when you have any sony new con- new controller features motion sensors touchpad light bar been widely used aside from rumble it's a good point there billy like what feature has actually been used outside of rumble i have one i don't know if you you do i mean i think Later in life, like the last couple of years, the touchpad has been instrumental in so many games. You talk about Ghost of Tsushima, that is just like all touchpad guiding win. True. Um, in uh, oh god, in uh, Last of Us, you could play through the fire and flames on the guitar. <laughs> that yes, but like days gone, like you could just open up the menu on the swipes, and every yeah. swipe is a different menu, or just any open world game pressing down on the touchpad to bring open the map is huge it's a a, you'll never miss that map to be honest like ghosts and not having it to the touchpad is a little weird for me yeah do i I do control the map and i zoom and pinch with 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 the touchpad all the time oh yeah i I just mean like just bringing it up oh okay press uh for me the biggest feature i think is the share button Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah sure. Hey, Xbox people, where's your share button? All right. It's ironically placed in the menu screen. Okay, cool. Have fun with those old controllers, piece of shit, people. You know, I'm so <laughs> nice here, and what do I get for it? Huh? You just throw a vial my way. <laughs> Sean Capri, I'm looking at you as you're driving in your car, going boahs and all that. I'm looking at you. I, I'm nice to you every time. You know, snide yeah, comments. Is... No respect, I tell you. No respect at all. If this is your first episode ever listening to the Trophy Room, we're not. We're not normally like this. <laughs> we're not. We pre- we preach positivity and loving all games, but, but man, today, the internet's real much. It's a lot today. Today, I've just had today. enough. You know what, Karen? <laughs> I'm gonna talk to you about wearing your goddamn mask and leaving my 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 Costco. Okay? <laughs> like, you damn TikToker, <laughs> let me in this store. <laughs> Stop doing your weird dances. Get out of here, Kyle. All right, let's yeah. let's get upset one last time. Oh, this one, I think all gamers can agree on. <laughs> we could band together in pettiness. Let's do it. Yes, uh, by Sharif Saeed from VG247 writes, EG, EG, EA signals that it's considering WB Games acquisition. Quote, we are more interested than ever, end quote. Uh-oh. EA published strong results for its first quarter of the financial year 2020 or fiscal year 2021. Following the earnings reveal, EA executives took a and took investor questions. Recent reports that Warner Brothers' parent company is looking to sell the gaming unit name dropped EA, mm-hmm. among others, as a potential buyer. And you can bet this question came up. EA COO Blake Jorgensen fielded one such question, clarifying the company's approach to acquisitions. Jorgensen opened up opened by saying that EA is always looking at studios up for sale, but that he wouldn't be able to specifically comment on the matter of Warner Brothers. He was, however, eager to say that EA wants to go after talent rather than Mm. games. Quote, I can't comment and, and, oh my god, this story's got me so mad I'm flustered. (laughs) Quote, I can't comment on any specific acquisition other than what I will tell you, as we said you've seen in the past, where we've done the best is, man, it's I'm reading that all wrong. Let me back up a second. Take a, Blake, take a what second. are you what are you doing to me here? He okay. does talk like a robot. This is is strange. So maybe okay. he was booting up at this time. All right. Okay. Quote, I can't comment on any specific acquisition other than what I will tell you. As we said, you've seen in the past where we've done the best is where we have long-term relationships with people, he said. And we're really trying to buy great talent versus games, end quote. <sighs> moment of silence for uh, i think that is the appropriate response to this just a big sigh yeah just this this has been a rough episode of the trophy room <laughs> we've had it we've gone through a lot we've got a lot of rage in us all right there's been a lot of a lot of heat in, in, in this oven for a while now mm-hmm. ray martinez writes in and i think he's gonna love this episode because we've been very pro sony all right like we normally yeah. are 
by the way. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I met that with like, hey, how dare you? Uh, Ray writes in, he goes, which dump- dumpster fire would you rather uh, WB Games go to if uh, it does have to go to either EA or Microsoft? What are the chances that PlayStation 5... Um, oh, sorry. Oh, oh okay. A never right. It's a different question. Okay. So... EA, Ray trying to sneak it in there. Yeah, you're trying to sneak it in another question. <laughs> but no, this is great. Like, who would you rather have at this point be, be our stepdad? Hands but, down, Microsoft. Now, are Hands you gonna keep down. are you gonna keep that same energy if Batman is I mean, we've talked about this, I think, last yeah. week, but this is uh now more concrete of a thing of like if it is EA or if it is Microsoft, we're still keeping this energy. Oh, I'm, like, I'm absolutely yeah. I'm like, all I, right. I, look- well, I'm buying like, an Xbox for Batman is what we're saying. Pretty much. Like, I'm such a big Batman fan. Like, I want to be able to play it. And You won't be angry one bit. I mean, a little bit that I won't be able to get a platinum trophy in the okay. game. Okay. But the fact that I'm still able to play as Batman, I'll be excited for. And knowing that they have a nice home and not with EA. Because we hear yeah. EA drinks. <laughs> They take our yoo-hoos at lunch, and we are not going to stand for it. I think what makes me nervous about EA is What's just, wrong with look, me? I'm sorry. I don't know. Uh, look what they did to Visceral. Look what they did to exactly. the, the, the Star Wars game, the Amy Henning game. Like, yeah. it, may, it worries me that they're just going to cancel and, and move along. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I, I think my, Microsoft is is the best bet. Yeah, I'd much rather have Microsoft at the helm than EA. Like, how many times have we seen awesome companies like Visceral, uh, like Pandemic? Oh no, that's can't use that word. But like, oh, like, but like the, the the original creators of Star Wars Battlefront. How, how many awesome creators have we seen stripped aside because EA doesn't see their profitability anymore? Like. You know, how many mis- misturns are we going to make with EA when, you know, they'll just get rid of any old company because of their own mistakes? That alarms me. That said, though, EA is under different type of management. It's not the same company as it once was. We're seeing awesome success out of Respawn, and we see Vince Zimpella getting more power within that company, more creative control within that company. Mm-hmm. It's... <sighs> I'd much rather it be Microsoft, but I wouldn't be let down if it's EA either, right? I At the same exact time, we have to look at it through WB's lens of, okay, let's take a look at EA. So what? Microsoft offers us a bigger chunk of change. If we're also giving the licenses out to people, and everybody, please bear with me here for a sec, but if we are giving the licenses out to people, then we have to really take a step back and say, if we're WB and we're doing these licenses... Well, what company has given the best return on investment when it comes to licenses handling? You know, Microsoft has some with with Minecraft, but when you take a look at what EA has done, and again, we're thinking as an investor, we're heartless, we don't give a shit about if this game is, you know, received critically well or not. You're taking a look at Madden, a billion dollar franchise, billion dollar license. Looking at FIFA, billion dollar license. I hear people buy NHL games. I also hear people buy the PGA tour games, right? Then you're taking a look at the star Wars license and it hurts my soul. I'm a big star Wars fan. You see the Qui-Gon Jinn one-to-one movie replica lightsaber behind me. I love star Wars. Here's the thing though, as much as I wasn't a fan of, of, of battlefront two until a few years out, it made a shit ton of money. The mobile game alone made a billion dollars. So if I'm an investor, if I'm WB, I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm getting the most return right now, but what's paying my bills down the line? And not to mention, I'll give the shout out to King from the Iron Lords for saying this, um, but uh, and I and, and I believe Luke as well is, if you're trying to sell out this whole this company outright, you're also selling the publishing arm. Microsoft doesn't need the publishing arm. EA needs a publishing arm in in Europe. Right. They need distribution as well. And so that's where this makes a huge get for EA to buy this, the, these studios outright. So you're also getting that, pu- uh, that publishing division. So to me, it does look more and more likely that it's EA and not Microsoft. And it worries me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Guys, I promise you, we're going to be much more lighthearted and less dark <laughs> Listen, <laughs> once we Thursday, get to our state of play reveal. 
Thursday is state of play. Fall guys, there's nothing gonna bring me down. Like <sighs> joyous Kyle. All day I don't know. Thursday. What if like the <laughs> the murder hornets meet up with like I don't know killer horses and they make a t- tag team? You know, like by the time Fall Guys comes out, it's 2020. It's anyone's ball game. It makes zero sense. But when you're like, what happens if the Murder Hornets cross with? And I immediately thought of like, what if Murder Hornets had their cell phones out and there were Karens and just recording everything? <laughs> How dare you swat me? How dare you? <laughs> what if? What if by Wednesday there's hurricanes riding tornadoes? Like it's craziness. <laughs> I don't know. Anything's possible at this point, Kyle. Yeah. Listen, yeah, yeah. we're worried about EA. We're worried about mm-hmm. them pur- purchasing WB. Mm-hmm. We're all scared about this. Mm-hmm. When do you think we're going to find out who's been bought and how much? Relatively soon. Yeah? Uh, What's relatively soon? Like two, three months? DC fandom. A couple weeks. Because okay. they are going to show off Batman there. Uh, they're I gonna hear? show off games. Kyle. Like... All right. I want I want you to close your eyes for a second. Alright. Eyes close. What if the state of play we see Batman? Joseph Moran. I didn't even think about that coming up because it's all third party stuff. You, my party. friend, I'm gonna blame you so hard when, <laughs> when my <laughs> dreams are slashed once again live on stream. <laughs> Oh my Who god, knows? that'd be amazing. We get a little I, teaser. Get... Who knows? Did it say no new games? Just updates? I don't know. I don't know. They said third party will give you some updates on PS5 titles. But we're going to talk about third party and indies. It would make... Will we see some Marvel's Avengers? What do you think? Are we going to see the Marvel Avengers stuff? Because they gave us the, the, the medicine and then we're going to see like the candy we I... get afterwards? I wouldn't be shocked if we see Spider-Man in Marvel's Avengers on Thursday. Swift, swift. Um, oh my god, now I'm just imagining the I the know. cowl showing up on Thursday. Good I god. Know. Have you tried uh, HBO Max? Because they have a whole bunch of like Batman stuff. And there's some cool shit in there. No, I haven't. I have a lot of the Batman movies. And stuff I watched on Batman uh, The Dark Knight Returns Part 1. Dope. Mm-hmm. Dope. Ooh. And Part 2. Also dope. Then I watched Euphoria. A lot of dongs in that show, but also an amazing show. Zendaya needs to win that Emmy. Mm. But you know what? This is a PlayStation podcast. And not about Zendaya's future Emmy. That's Mr. Glorious' job. <laughs> That's true. That's Mr. Moody's job. <laughs> With that, Kyle, listen. Yeah. You have a new segment here. This is not... Uh, you said Thanos' what? voice. No drop. I, I... Fine. I'll do it myself. Uh... Since PlayStation has abandoned the drop and we can't bring you the latest and greatest each and every week of what's coming to your PlayStations, I decided to just do a wrap up of all the games that I thought were cool coming to the month of August. Um, so that went live today on Bad Bait Games on YouTube. Um, go check it out. Give me any feedback for what you want to see in uh, September. Uh, September's video already a great suge- suggestion of adding the PS Now titles Um, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i forgot who mentioned that but that's a great thing that i should do and yeah i just like share it out you know show your friends it's Uh, immediately after you posted it Uh i saw that hyperscape got a date for august on playstation i was like oh no that's fine next time next time Uh next time hey you got the one that matters PJ Tour 2K21. Oh, no, I was going to say Fast and Furious. <laughs> you know that game is out in four days? <clears throat> God, I don't believe you. Here's the thing. I am super proud of you of that video. It is so Thank well you. edited. It, and it's weird for me as, as like, I've done YouTube videos for years now. And, like, seeing it on my channel and it's not me is weird. Gives me a weird anxiety. <laughs> it's yeah, very... Yeah, yeah. But, like, to see the responses so far being overwhelmingly positive i'm so happy so go over to bad big games check out uh what was it the month of august games Mm -hmm. uh video it's fan freaking tastic so with that let's get into andy house's snail mail uh each and every week you send us your questions over at ps trophy room on twitter uh whoa there's an insect that flew in my house. Maybe it is that killer. Oh my god, hornet. they heard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, 
Uh, you can send us your questions over at PS Trophy Room on Twitter or the Casa de Bad Bit Discord server. We sprinkle them out throughout the show, and sometimes we get a little extra, and we, you know, ask them at the end of the show. So with that, Ray, oh, sorry, I was going to say it. Ray Martinez writes in, <laughs> Randy writes in, how would you rank the special edition controllers this generation consoles. for, or sorry, consoles this generation for PlayStation 4 slash Pro? My favorite is the Spider Man Pro, followed closely by the Death Stranding uh, PlayStation 4 Pro. Uh, you got the two consoles that I think are my favorite as well. I love mm. the Spider Man console. It's simple, but it just screams Spider Man. I love that controller. And Death Stranding, give me, give me, give me that controller just. As a special edition controller, I just want it. So yeah. those are my actually, Randy, uh, Jinx, you owe me a Coke. You weren't able to say it. Um, I think the Spider Man Pro is so pretty, and that's easily up there. Um, yeah. You had this, but you don't anymore, I don't think. Excuse me. Uh, the God of War uh, PS4 Pro with the, the to my brother. Axe runes and stuff. Mm-hmm. I think that was very cool. I was jealous I couldn't get that. And as far as like, the basic PS4s, which is weird looking back at how I'm not having the three tiers of the Pro anymore. Yeah. Um, I love the Uncharted 4, like, steel blue one with, like, the Nathan Drake on the on the slipcover where the hard drive is. How about how about oh, the Metal Gear Solid one? The yes. ruby red? Oh, my God. Yeah. So, like, like the, the, the new colors. Yeah. Like, the, the steel blue for Uncharted, the red for Metal Gear Solid. Even the, the chrome Batman Arkham Knight one. I think we're really, really pretty looking. Hmm. Yeah. Good question, Randy. Thank you for thank you for writing it, man. Just don't just PlayStation Sony, don't go back to the Black Ops one with just the, the numbers on the top. Oh, that was the, the worst one. The, or ever. the camo one. Yeah, or that's the one I was thinking of. The Star Wars one. Like the controller was cool, but not, not the even. system. The Destiny White one was pretty cool too. They you know what? I'm just happy they got their shit together towards the end. Yes, those consoles in a while, like those limiteds were not. Oh, oof. Last of Us Part Two one, which you told me not to get. I, that one was very pretty. Saving <laughs> you money. I'm saving you money. <laughs> Writes in. He asks. Tetris 99 is exclusive to the Nintendo Switch and is also free for Nintendo Switch Online members. Should Fall Guys follow in a similar format by remaining exclusive to PlayStation and Steam and free for PlayStation Plus members? Kyle. That is a great question. Yeah. I said last week on the show that I think Fall Guys is going to be a ginormous phenomenon. Phenomenon maybe even, now. Maybe even taking over Rocket League for like the 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 spike in people playing. Okay. Um I think it'd be smart for it to remain exclusive to PlayStation, mm-hmm. but I think there is no way in hell Fall Guys is not saying is not going to like Xbox. Oh, you don't think so? You think eventually down I, the line? I think eventually it will go there, and when Nintendo gets their online thing shit together, I'm sure it'll come <laughs> to Switch as well. Like it's, it's that's not yeah. ever gonna happen. So it's just gonna no, be, it's not. Yeah, God, Nintendo, God, even the te- like, you, like I lag in Tetris ninety nine. What are the odds, you Nintendo? Have, right? What are the a odds? A game where you can't afford to lag it yeah where precision is key they're just like "Eh, (laughs) let's throw caution to the wind instead (laughs) yeah (laughs) yeah no i would love to see uh a a playstation exclusive whether it's fall guys whether it's the Killzone team working on their their uh their rumored game from the siege developer or our creative uh directors um, or Naughty would, Dog and their multiplayer. Yeah, like I would love to see reasons to get that PlayStation Plus that that lives on through like free games. You know, similar to like what Halo's doing to try to make it relevant. There is is put free to play on that multiplayer. Let's have a reason to get PlayStation Plus. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's good. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm all on board. And again, we're gonna be playing Fall Guys on Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So come join us, please. Last but not least, Lee Kyle, as we move on out of here, we have, we look at the board, the bounty board, the trophy board. Okay. Each and every week I scope, I scour through Apple podcasts to find the latest and greatest in all things review that lands onto the place or sorry, onto the trophy room, uh, Apple page. Listen, I'm working on this pitch. It's not perfect yet. Please go over to Apple Podcasts, go over to the trophy room, 
<laughs> Kyle, don't laugh at me. I'm trying my best. I'm here. laughing because I know you said I'm working on my Apple pitch, but I heard Apple bitch, <laughs> and that's why I'm laughing. <laughs> you gotta work, bitch. Uh, but yeah, you can send your five star reviews if you like these shenanigans. I don't know why you would. I know why you would. We're hilarious. Go over to Apple Podcasts, rate us five stars. If we get to 100 iTunes reviews, five star iTunes reviews. Okay, no four stars. Don't be truthful. We're going to give one lucky person their first PlayStation 5 game for free. Yeah. First PS5 game is on us. It's on us. Okay? It could be Kenna. It could be Godfall. It could be Bug Snacks. I don't care. It could be Miles Morales. It could be Miles Morales. Or it could be Bug Snacks again. Y'all love that game. I don't know why. (laughs) We'll buy you five copies of Bug Snacks. How much do you think Bug Snacks is going to be? 40. I'm going to cut you off. It's going to be free if you're the lucky viewer. Oh, man. Mind blown. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. With that, we have our five-star review over from Sebastian from Sacramento. Don't get it confused with Sebastian from Connecticut, because Sebastian from Connecticut, piece of shit. But Sebastian from Sacramento, he's a five-star man right himself right there. He says, title, great duo. This podcast has been getting me hyped for the PlayStation 5, and I really love how Joe and Kyle bounce off each other. Well, thank you. They can tell they love gaming and each other, and I'm here for that. I don't know about this episode, Sebastian from Sacramento, (laughs) but you know what? I do love video games, and I do love my best friend Kyle. All right? I'll fight you. I'll fight you. Sebastian from Sacramento. No, Sebastian from Connecticut. All oh, right, like, Sebastian from Sebastian Connecticut. Sebastian from Sacramento will give hugs. Yeah, to we love him, but Connecticut? Yeah. You son of a gun. I don't even know anything. He knows what he did. He yeah. knows what he did. Yeah, you know what he did. What's it? New ha- Is it New Haven, Connecticut? Is like your capital? That is in there. Yeah. New <laughs> Haven, Connecticut. I'm coming after you, you son of a gun. I don't like states that look like rectangles. <laughs> yeah. Is that like the next evolution of flat earthers? Like, People from I only Connecticut. Like states that are, no, I only like states that are rectangles or countries that are rectangles. Uh, I don't know any countries Strip. that are like hard rectangles. Egypt? No, that's like a weird no. square. Anyways, <laughs> okay, <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. With that, that's been the Trophy Room, a PlayStation podcast, not a geographical podcast, made by the players for the players. But before we head on out, Kyle, is there anything you'd like to pimp out? Absolutely. As always, I like to pimp out myself, Ninja 73 on Twitter and on PSN. Um, big thanks to everyone who took time out of their day to listen to the last episode of Best Friends Talk Funny. Uh, very emotional. It still kind of hurts, but it's the right thing to do yeah. for my own sanity um so from now on you can find me over at kind nyc.com and all the different links of stuff i do is over there now including Ooh. here so yeah it makes me feel nice and you can find me over at Bad Bit Games on Twitter. You can find this video version of the show over at Bad Bit Games on YouTube. And you can find the show again on all podcast services. So go ahead. Go find us. I scoured the internet trying to find a service we weren't on. Spoiler alert. It's SoundCloud. Spoiler alert. Don't feel like paying 100 bucks for SoundCloud. Because it's Ugh. not going. It's not going places. So with that, all podcast services that are SoundCloud, you can find us there. Rate us five stars. With all that said, with all that out of the way, I've had a, a, so much fun recording this episode with you, Kyle. I love you so much. Same. Love, love everybody too. here. Keep hunting and keep playing PlayStation. Be kind to each other, please.